parallel yeah. bars. <laughs> Today on Studio 11, we're talking women's gymnastics because two of the world's greatest female gymnasts are sitting with me right now. They are both Olympians and members of UCLA's team, and they're just back from the NCAA championships over the weekend in Dallas. Here they are. This is such a great picture. Jordan Weber giving Samantha Peshik big support, and it worked. Samantha <laughs> won the NCAA all-around competition and the balance beam competition, and Jordan was there, the student manager of her college team. Welcome to 2012 Olympic gold medalist Jordan Weber, right on with the blue shirt on right there, <laughs> and 2008 Olympic silver medalist Samantha Peshik, and 2015 all-around NCAA champ. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank she, you. She did great, huh? Mm -hmm, she did. <laughs> it was awesome. Almost perfect. I think what she did over the weekend. <laughs> How does this compare to winning a silver medal in Beijing? Oh my goodness. It's it's like comparing apples and oranges to be honest. The collegiate level is so different than the elite level. There's nothing like putting a USA leotard on and competing for my entire country, but at the same time, it's a completely different feeling to put on my UCLA leotard and, and to compete for my school. We do. We have video of you over the weekend. There we okay. go. I couldn't get over this mount right there, jumping <laughs> over the lower bar to get to that higher yes. bar. And it does look like perfection to me. What was your best of all the things that you did in that all around? Um, I think, well, I, I had was very consistent. I got nine nines on every single event. Incredible. But uh, I still think that Beam is my best event, and mm -hmm. I was really happy with the result on Sunday's event finals. All right, Jordan, how'd she do? She did amazing. I was just really excited to be out there with her, cheering her on and <laughs> helping her out. But it was great. It's so interesting because we remember you from the 2012 Olympics on the Fierce Five team. And here you are. You're the student manager because you gave mm -hmm. up your college eligibility. There mm -hmm. you are with the Fierce Five right yeah. there. We'll remember some of your teammates, Gabby Douglas in there. Mm -hmm. How did this happen that you ended up being a student manager for a college team? Well, when I was 15, even before the Olympics, I decided to go professional. And when you do that, you don't get to compete in college anymore. But I still kind of had this dream of going to UCLA and being a part of the gymnastics team. And that's something I, I always wanted to do ever since I was little. So I called Miss Val, our coach, and asked her, is there any way I can still be a part of the team and go professional? And she said, sure, we'll definitely find a place for you. So here I am. I'm a manager for the, for the team. So I take on a bunch of different roles. Well, I, let me, let yeah. me read Lee Jenkins in, uh, wrote in Sports Illustrated because this is the thing that I just found. This is really something about your character. He wrote, she moves mats, she fills water bottles, she fires t-shirt guns, she selects matching leotards for the Bruins, but she doesn't get to wear one. And he says, you gave up training for the Rio Olympics to do those kind of things. Is <laughs> that true? Um, well, it was a little... It was kind of, I was ready to be done with the sport, and I was ready to kind of move on to the next phase of my life, which was being a college student. And, you know, being at UCLA, I just, I couldn't imagine being there and not being a part of the gymnastics team, just because gymnastics has always been a part of my life. And I really enjoy being in the gym every single day with them, even though I'm not training or competing. Um, but, you know, the Rio 2016, Olymp 2016 Olympics wasn't really in my plan, so this is the new plan, and I'm really enjoying life right now. But well, isn't it true that you were going to the UCLA gym every morning at 6 in the morning and training mm -hmm. for yourself, and then the rest of the team would show up at 8 a.m., and then you would stop and help them? Yeah. That's yep. what you were doing, huh? And then you just quit training along the way? Yeah, I mean, I didn't... I didn't really feel like I quit. It was more just like I was ready to kind of move on. Got I it. I wasn't really ready to give up gymnastics quite yet, and so I, I kept training and going into the, the gym at really early hours, and um, I kind of just realized that I was ready to move on, and, and now I'm just really enjoying everything. Sam, how is she as the manager? Really good, and, and like you mentioned, she does do all of those things like move mats and boards and stuff like that, but she does so much more. Just the person, the type of person that she is on the team, she's such a positive role model, and whenever we need advice, She's such a rational person to go and talk to and to vent to. And so she's way more than just a manager, in my opinion. So you're done. You announced, officially announced your retirement yeah. on Twitter. And you said, I find amazing that I'd like to thank everyone for this over these past 21 years for their support. And you're yeah. just 23 years old. So yeah. you started it too. What's next? Well, I graduate in June. So that's really exciting. And then I'm going to just see where life takes me. I'm, I'm going to have a degree in communications. And I would love to stay in the media and communications field and hopefully stay in the sports world. And Oh, so um, you want to do what I do? Yeah. yeah. So if I'm you want to pass it. that torch, that would be you great. You bet, girl. I 
do. And Jordan, you're going to finish school in psychology, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm only in my second year right now, and I'm still studying, but I'm, I've been traveling around and doing gymnastics camps and talking to young girls about my Olympic experience still, um, so I'm really enjoying that as well. All right, girls, we really appreciate it. Good luck to the both of you. We appreciate seeing here. Any chance you might? Try Rio? Um, I don't think so anymore. <laughs> no, you're, no, that's it. You couldn't talk you into it. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming in. So, how